Hi guys, welcome to the Unreal Engine for Beginners series of tutorials. Um, this series is a collection of um, short tutorial extracts from a university course that I'll be delivering in 2020. And as part of this um, tutorial series, we're going to start from complete sort of ground uh, zero, so to speak. And from scratch, we'll be building some simple games, simple game demos, and essentially getting used to Unreal Engine. I'll post a link to the official documentation so that you can um, get an account, download Epic Games Launcher, and also download the engine so that you can see what I can see right now. And just heads up, it's uh, 20 gigs, um, the engine, but the download size um, may be smaller. So keep that in mind. Once you've got to this uh, screen in the Epic Games Launcher, click on Unreal Engine. You'll see these tabs. Click on the library. And here, you can install your engine. You might see different versions, depending on how many uh, versions you installed. And for the series, I'm going to be using 425.3. And that's the version that is installed on the university machines. And if you are a university student, then you'll also need to use this specific version at home as well for the assignment. If you're joining us from YouTube, then feel free to use any version, but you might as well pick 425.3 um, for consistency. So here in the top right corner, you can click launch uh, by selecting the appropriate version, which will um, launch the editor or the engine. And if you're using the same version, then you will see this screen where you can se um, select games. That's where we're building. Uh, first person template. These are examples that are provided by the engine that you can just quickly start and play. We're going to use first person. We're going to select scalable quality. Uh, if you have a more powerful machine, then you can select maximum quality. And we don't want starter content just yet, so we're not going to add it. And we're also going to select the folder in which our Unreal Engine projects will live. Finally, we're going to give our project a name, first person test. And you can see that the directory has been created in the Unreal Engine uh, projects folder that you just selected. So you'll see something like this once it all finishes. It's probably a bit overwhelming because you've got so many menus, so many buttons to click. Uh, so for this video, we're just going to play our game demo and that will be it. And in order to do that, you will need to find this button, the triangular play button, and click on that. In which case, you will start your game demo. Uh, if you go, if you move your cursor to this uh, embedded window, which is called viewport, and click, for example, right click, then you can start moving around. So WSD in order to move around this level, space for jump, and if you've played any FPS games, then you'll feel right at home because it's exactly the same controls. And you can even shoot uh, if you press left click. These are all set up as part of the template. We didn't do anything just yet. And if you want to exit this demo, you can press escape, which will put all the objects in their default positions. Right, so one last thing to do in this video is moving around your level in the editor without running the game. So if you, again, move your cursor to the viewport, and hold right click. You can then move with WSD controls as if you're um, in something like God mode in FPS games. And you have uh, no clip as well. So you can move through walls and all the collision enabled objects. So WSD to move uh, while holding the right mouse button, uh, E to go up, Q to go down, and I don't think you need anything else really. 
because that should be enough to just wander around the level and see what's where. And for this tutorial, this will be enough. If you can replicate this um, on your machines, that means you're ready, pretty much ready for Unreal Engine development and for the series. You can expect about 20 plus tutorials uh, in this series covering all the basic stuff like how to move things, how to create things, um, how to do something with these things and that will get you somewhere around to intermediate level I would have thought. And then depending on the audience and our university students progressing to different years we might add some more advanced stuff as well. On this note, thanks for watching.